what was your what was your most embarrassing moment every time I do this okay so the day is pretty much over at this point and I really don't have a lot I kind of felt that going into the day that I just wasn't gonna have an opportunity so this is when typically I see most people who do YouTube videos or do daily vlogs go to something like a Q&A since I don't really have an audience that's asking Q&A questions right now but I would cheat a little bit by using other people's questions that have been asked so I literally just plugged in hashtag Q&A on Instagram and came up with a couple of questions so here goes uh, who's your favorite youtuber that's a pretty pretty easy one for me uh, Casey Neistat's a great inspiration uh, as well as Gary Vaynerchuk uh, Gary VEE -E, uh, both kind of two different different but similar personalities on YouTube uh, both very inspiring in their own in their own ways it's take a lot of take a lot of inspiration from them as well as enjoy just watching all the content that they put out what got you into YouTube? That's a good question. So I really wanted to understand the platform, so I actually kind of backed into the daily vlogging through just YouTubing, which was that I did a 30, and th I'm in the middle of it right now actually, doing 30 uploads to YouTube in 30 days, and the re real point of that was really not so much the creative, but just the logistics of um, and the process and the practice of uploading something to YouTube every day and understanding the descriptions and the tags and all that stuff. So that's really why I started. And then I realized that I wasn't going to be able to keep up with the 30 days. I wasn't going to be able to produce enough. So I decided, I think 13 days ago or so, 14 days ago, that I would just go to daily vlogging. So that's how I got into daily vlogging. I don't know how long this will last, but um, I do want to make it to that 30 days. I was already like 10 days in, so it's really like 20 days. I don't even know where I am right now, so I gotta make sure I don't like come up to the deadline and not have 30 pieces of content, content in 30 days. But that's how I got into YouTube because I wanted to understand it as a platform and then kind of backed into the daily vlogging thing. Uh, how did you learn to draw? I do not know how to draw. This is obviously a question for somebody else. This one has nothing to do with me, but I thought this one was funny. Why do you have so many underscores in your name? It makes it very hard to reply. <laughs> do you like sushi? Yes, I do. Are you good at riddles? I don't know. Are you good at riddles? I'm actually typically very good at riddles. Ooh, do you like waffles, pancakes, or french toast? Pick one. I refuse to answer that question. On the grounds that I'm afraid somebody may hold me to it at some point. Have you ever broken a bone? Yes, I've broken my finger and I have fractured two ribs. So I think that pretty much concludes the first Q&A with actual questions for other people. I hope you like the new haircut. I was really noticing in a lot of my videos that little bald spot back here that I'm getting. It's really bad when my hair gets long, especially up here with the light. So I hope that's better. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow.